What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic, and this is Heretic coming at you with a special edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! What? <laughs> I, you took my line from me. Okay, that's cool. You beat me to it. Um, We're coming at you with Muse. Yes, indeed. Muse fans, Phelan, you. Come on now. Eventually, I'll do your job. You're... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> get your own channel. Here we go! <laughs> Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do us a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give us a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, Feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Origin Bliss and Sergio. They both want to see us react to this. It is Muse with a song called Voodoo. Now go to that voodoo that you do. Now, have either one of us heard this before? I haven't, have you? Nope. You have not. Okay, so neither one of us have ever heard this before. This does not register with us in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility one of us might have heard this in passing and we just don't realize it. So as always, if we start listening to the song and either one of us goes, I've heard this before. I know I've heard this before. Now I remember, we'll let you know. That's the truth. You know us, we're gonna be honest with you guys. Let's see, this was posted by Mr. Muse Lyrics. All one word, I kid you not. It's <laughs> it, no spaces, right? No, no spaces. spaces, unbelievable. Some people just don't understand proper grammar. And uh, the video has 575,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Yep. You're ready, all right, so am I. Let's get those fingers up, because here, here we go. go. All right, here we go. Muse, Voodoo HD. That voodoo that you do to hoodoo. You're cheesy. I know, I'm awful. You're so cheesy. I'm I'm well aware oh, of this. That's, this has been, that's, that's Munster. Oh. That has been well established. Munster. Munster. Wow. <laughs> Classy, at least. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Lyrics on the screen. Yes. Into a dream. We will hide. A new Draw Oh. 
Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm think? used to something a little bit more like out the gate, you know? This is like very melodic, like yeah. very low. Very laid back. Yeah. Uh, that Spanish feel with yes, the guitar yes. at the beginning. I like that. Very misdirecting, though. Very misleading. Uh, because now, all of a sudden, we're in this laid back, like, six feel, uh, blues feel almost. Uh, kind of reminds me of the beginning of, like, Kill Bill. Yeah, it has <laughs> It has that, that, that grindhouse type of feel, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now yeah. that you mention it. I could actually see this in like a Tarantino film. Yeah, totally, I could. totally. Like, if they did like another Dust to Dawn movie or something. Oh like that, yeah, this could totally bring fit out that. Don, Danny Trejo. Oh, with Danny Trejo, there you go. <laughs> Shout out to Danny Trejo. He's eighty. He just turned eighty. Did he really? Yes, he just turned eighty. He just turned eighty now. Yeah, just a he's, few days ago. Yeah, but he's looked eighty for like the past forty years though. So I mean it. I'm sorry, but I'm, listen, he does. It's one of the reasons why he makes such a great villain. He's ageless. And he, <laughs> he doesn't look he doesn't look like he's changed all that much. No, honesty. absolutely not. But uh no, I, I'm digging the feel on this song. It's it's very misdirecting, it's very misleading, but when it does get to where it's going, it it's like when we did switch up to that blues feel, I was like, boom, do dun, do do. I was like, I didn't see that coming from a mile. No, I, I never even would have guessed that, that was where we were gonna go. But it works. It does work. I'm digging it. Are you getting the lyrics? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'm not understanding a hundred percent. I'll probably have to listen to this again on my off time. Okay. But yeah. All right. Fair enough. Eh? beginning okay Sus chord at the end. Nice. Okay. All right. Um. Pretty cut and dry. I mean, I not really a whole lot to talk about. What do you think? Not really. No. Okay. Well, let's get our thoughts together anyway, and we'll see you in the review, you. and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Muse with. Hoodoo. This was a request from Origin Bliss and Sergio. Okay, um, I know what I'm gonna give it. You know what you're gonna give it? Yeah. You know what you're gonna say? Yes. Cool, I, I guess we're ready to go. Then do you wanna go first? No. No, of course you don't. This what? is your channel. Yeah. You go first. I am a guest, I go second. Ugh, I thought guests always go first. Not when it's your channel. Oh, pitch. Anyway, I'll go first, fine, why fault? Happy wife, happy life, and I want to make her happy, so. All right, I'll go first. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 7.7. 7. Yep, 7.7, 7. I feel good about that score. Well, before I tell you why, 
what score would you give it? I'm gonna give it a solid thumb up. One solid thumb up? With a little bit of a quarter. Oh, like one and a quarter, one huh? One and a quarter. Okay, so one and a quarter thumbs up from Mrs. Heretic. All right, let us tell you why. Why? Go for it. I will. Uh, first things first, 7.7, .7, what does that mean? Well, a 7.7 .7 would translate to a really good scale rating. It would equate out to four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. So yeah, 7.7, .7, really good scale rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come to that score? Ha <laughs> ha, so glad you asked. Um, if I'm being honest, not really my cup of tea. Uh, not really a song I would enjoy listening to on a regular basis. It's just not in my wheelhouse. I, I like more hard rocking tunes. This is very ballady. Very, it's very pretty, but it's very ballady. And I, Ballads and I have never really seen eye to eye. But even though I may not necessarily be the biggest fan of the song, there is no denying that there are some really good things happening there. Stylistically, a lot of surprises. Uh, first of all, that Spanish style of guitar playing. Didn't expect that at the beginning. And uh, pretty much through the entire uh, first phase of the song. And then we went into this blues, like six feel. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, that, that felt really nice. And then we went into a straight three, four feel, which was, I didn't see that coming either. I mean, it makes sense coming out of the six swing feel. That, that felt nice, uh, but it, I just didn't see it coming, but it makes perfect sense. And then ending out, uh, going back into the four again, 4-4 uh, four, four feel again. That, didn't see that coming either. I thought we were going to stay in three for the rest of the song. Um, some really nice job playing around with time signature and playing around with feel. Um, the instrumentation, the addition of the piano in the 3-4 section. Really nice job. Uh, ending out, finishing how we start, you know, with that Spanish-esque guitar. Very nice, uh, very fitting. Um... No, I, I had no issue with anything that was happening instrumentally in this. Vocally, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the vocals, if I'm being honest, but the vocal style did fit the, the song. So, I mean, I get it. I see why he was doing it. I'm not a fan of it, but I understand that he had to do with those vocals for this song. It makes perfect sense. So, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this song. I'm really not, but I, I, I get it. I see the appeal. I see why a lot of people would like it. It is pretty. It's a very pretty song, and it did have some nice surprises. And, uh, and overall, I do believe it's a really good song. And, and like I've always said on the channel, I don't have to like a song to give it a good score. I, there have been many songs that I can't stand. I'm not saying I can't stand this. I'm just saying it's not in my wheelhouse, you know. But there have been songs on this channel that I cannot stand, and I've still given them good scores. And this is one of those situations. Not necessarily a fan but I do see the value, and that's why I'm giving it a really good score of 7.7. .7. Your turn. <laughs> what do you have to say about this? Okay, I really, I did really like the Spanish guitar. Yeah? That that was, my, I have to say, my favorite part. Really? Yes. Okay. The lyrics, a little cryptic, talking, I think they're talking about a relationship, like, you know, you know, choosing a different path, and loves, and, and you know, like souls fading away. I think it's a relationship ballad, but I could be wrong. Fans tell me. Um, yeah. and, and and basically, the, the reason why they got the extra half thumb, quarter, or thumb. Quarter, quarter, thumb, quarter thumb, quarter thumb, quarter thumb up, is because of the fact that I like the Spanish guitar so much. Mm. But the lyrics were cryptic, so it was harder for me to kind of grasp into it. It, like he for said, for a first listen. For for a first listen. I might listen to it again. I might go back and listen to it again. But same thing, it's not in my wheelhouse. This is like the, Really? It's not 100% in my wheelhouse. I uh, thought for sure you would this would be I, in, up your alley. Not as much as you would think. Like Cuz like, I'm sitting there listening to this, I'm going, I'll bet you she's loving this. I'm it, not I'm not digging it that much, but I'll bet you you're it's loving it. It's getting a good score because of the fact that like I said I like the Spanish guitar. I like the fact that it went from Spanish guitar a little bit faster, and then it ended with the Spanish guitar. Yeah, finish how you start. I'm a yeah, big. That's a big thing the for me. Fit, yeah, and the fact that that his his tone for the 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 song, like for the lyrics, the vocal delivery, the, went exactly matched the yeah. the the music. Yeah. Which which 
I personally like, even though this isn't in my wheelhouse. I like more poppy. I like more, I want to get up and dance. Feel good music. <laughs> like, I'm a country girl, okay? Wow. Like, 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 give me a good bar song. Wait, now, wait a minute. To. Now, wait a minute. Country music is notorious for having a lot of ballads. Yes, but they're ba uh, some of the ballads I like are a little more upbeat. Oh, okay. Okay, but I like their good, good drinking songs. You know, the ones that you can get up you and dance. You don't drink. To. I. <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> I, no, I don't drink really either. But I mean, that's just funny though to me. I've always wondered that about you. You love country music, and a lot of country music, like you said, is about drinking beer or whiskey or whatever. I just like. You don't like either one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I do like the 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 tone and the like the You like the more upbeat the, ballads. Very upbeat. Very okay. upbeat. You know? So this song really was not in your wheelhouse. It wasn't hundred percent my wheelhouse, but like okay, I said, I, was wrong. I might have to go back and listen to it again and see if there's something I'm missing. I always like to do that because that's important. Okay. But you did you but you got the gist of the song. You 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 you're thinking it's about a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I mean it, it, it very well could be, I don't know. I have lyrics on my thing. I'll, I'll take your word for it. But in any case, you're giving it one and a quarter thumbs up. Yeah. I've never seen a quarter score from you before. Yeah, a quarter. I had I pushed for that because I liked the, the Spanish You like the Spanish guitar. guitar. All right, that's fine. Hey, whatever reason, that's all good. So one and a quarter thumbs up for Mrs. Heretic. You got a 7.7 .7 from me, which is a really good score. Four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick. We don't care. Whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, we have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, we were able to entertain you. If we were able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then we did our job, and we're so glad we could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to us, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic and Mrs. Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous. And each other. Later. Later. Peace.